Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be making the SR71 Blackbird uh, and I'll also be giving you some tips and tricks or kind of like a how-to how to make an aircraft and in this particular case uh, you could say this is a bit more of an advanced build particularly because it's very problematic when when it comes to placing wings and, st and stuff because with these kind of crafts you want to have wings in very specific spots it's uh, quite challenging. So you see in the video here, I had to actually use a cargo fuselage where I placed a part in it and then I attached a wing to that part inside the fuselage. And that allowed me to kind of clip wings inside the craft itself. Uh, I spent so many hours trying to get it just right because, you know, the Blackbird, the wings and, and the shape specifically at the front is a little bit difficult to match in KSP2. So, I mean, it's a lot better than what you have in KSP1, but because of the lack of part clipping, it's it, it just takes a while to figure things out. So anyway, um, I do recommend that you not do advanced builds or overly complex crafts. I, at least for now, probably keep it simple if you can. You know, something like the Boeing 747 is nice and easy. Just a couple, bunch of fuselages, long wings on the side, your jet engines wheels and then you're good to go so it's it's not too hard but unusual shapes like the backbird and the front there is just just a bit of a challenge so and i spent probably at least an hour trying to get it right and trying to match it with the actual real life design so uh one thing that i found was that the well reportedly the blackbird can reach a speed of 3540 kilometers per hour unfortunately in case p2 this craft uh, can barely do that i was able to reach uh, over 300 meters per second which is quite pathetic to be honest uh it's just yeah the engines seem to be quite weak and if part clipping was enabled i probably would have placed several engines on top of each other um i did have one engine kind of not on top but just just before the other engine and uh that was causing overheating so i just avoided any kind of unusual clipping when it comes to engines one thing like you can do though is you can have a fuselage kind of night like, kind of like near the front and you can place your air intake in that and in my experience it worked however when you play when i placed it in another area it wasn't working so well so anyway this is one of the early well not really early i've tested a few flights but this is one of the flights and yeah i think everything was kind of good um, the lift yeah, is really good on this particular craft. The roll is absolutely terrible, but I suppose that's just the limit of the design. So yeah, and I've had to actually place around two struts. So yeah, don't shy away from struts if you need to. Give a test flight and then if you see parts wobbling around, place struts where you need to. So they are placed kind of underneath, out of the way, so it's not too glaringly obvious. Uh, no one likes that and you can see here I was just testing the, the lift and it's it's quite good but then again as you can see the speed is just uh, pretty bad yeah um, the more engines would have been nice but we, we just we don't really have that and uh, another youtuber Vaios also pointed out that the engines aren't as strong as they were in KSP1 so this this was some changes but you see here the pause feature in KSP2 is fantastic the ability to pause and then you press v on your keyboard to look around the camera angles this is this is really good so if you want some nice screenshots and or if there's some kind of emergency you're about to crash on the moon and you need some time to save yourself that could that could be very handy so anyway after doing all the testing that was it for the craft i've done enough disappointed with the speed eventually um i will i would like to fix it but i can't really share things with anyone because i mean you can't really share workspaces apparently yet in ksp2 so but when that feature does come out i'll gladly share what i have um but what's interesting is when i crash in the ocean here uh, the engines still work and the air intakes still pick up air so i don't know potentially you have an underwater aircraft that might, might that might be a thing so who knows you, all of you can um, give yourself a little challenge there and see if it's possible you can't really move anything but the engines are working so that's something so anyway that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time